iOS 17 is packed with new features. Even though we didn't get a lot of new big features, there are a ton of new features, smaller ones which Apple has added to iOS, which makes this update quite a nice update. And in this video, we're going to talk about some more new features and among them, a secret app that you will be able to find on iOS 17 beta 2, which is really interesting. Now we're going to talk about that in a minute here, but let's first start off with Safari. So you probably know that on Safari, you will have a limit of 500 tabs to have opened at the same time. Now with iOS 17 beta 2, it will automatically show this pop-up right here that basically asks you to close those tabs. So you can see close all older tabs. You can go ahead and close tabs that are older than one month and the other ones will still be open or you can go ahead and close all the tabs at once. Now, when it comes to the beta 2 of iOS 17, this one right here is one of my favorite new features. When you go to update your software, you will see here that you will have a really nice feature. Now, previously on iOS, when you come here and usually when Apple releases new updates, you come to update, you don't see the update. You will have to actually go back and go back into the software update section to see if there's an update. Now, all you have to do is just scroll like this, basically swipe down and it will check for updates right there. Now this is new with the second beta as well. Now, if you don't have enough storage on your device, it shows you this pop-up right here. You can see with that little icon right there. And it basically shows that this update cannot be installed. In this case, it requires at least 13.9 gigs. And basically you will need to have that storage available to install that update. But now it will show this pop-up right there, which is a new design. And it shows exactly how much storage you need. Now this one right here is really cool as well. I've seen this and I have seen this reported by a lot of iOS users. I didn't get this to work on my device, but basically on the spotlight search, having your location turned on every morning, you will see the weather conditions for that day for your location. Now I got this from the new iOS beta discord. Go there if you want to find out all the cool new features of iOS 17 beta. And this is a new feature for the spotlight, which is very useful. Here's another great one. On iOS, when you run a shortcut previously, if I run a shortcut like this, it will show here this pop up, this menu. There's no way to actually dismiss this. Usually if I would want to dismiss this, I had to just close the app or something like that. Now, all you have to do is just swipe down. It will give you that little animation and will allow you to actually dismiss this. Now you can do this within the shortcuts app, or if you have a shortcut on your home screen or lock screen, you can do this anywhere you want. There's a new action on the shortcuts app as well. You can now make an image from a rich text document right here. You can see this new option. Previously, you could do this, but only from PDF files. Now you can do that from rich text documents as well. And now let's talk about that secret app we talked about at the beginning. So basically is a new app called events, even though there's no icon for this app, but there is a way to actually have access to this new app. So whenever you're searching for an event or maybe a concert or maybe just an artist, if I search here for an artist, it will show me this menu right here. And you can see at the concerts, we have all the dates. Now, if I want to go to one of these dates and tap on it, Previously, it would just open it here on the spotlight search. Now, if I tap on it, it will take me to another app where I can go ahead and get tickets, add this to the calendar and see the details right here or even share it. But if we go right here, you can see to the app view, you will see the new app event. It has a name. It has an icon right there, but still no way to actually have direct access to this new app. With iOS 17, Apple has made also a ton of changes on the storage section on your general settings. Now, when you swipe down here and you go to my iPhone, these are the documents that you have saved on your iPhone on the files app. If you go lower here at the bottom, you will see the trash section. This is basically the deleted files folder. From here, you can go ahead and empty the trash and delete all the different stuff that you have there without having to actually go into the files app to do this. You will also see new app bundles here on the storage section. So let's just go here to show all. And if you have apps, let's say from Google, maybe or Apple, you will see these new buttons like you can see right here, Apple. If I tap on it, it will show basically shared space that these apps are using. So all these apps from this same company will basically have those data shared with each other. So you will find this, as I said, for Apple in this case, or maybe something like Google, you can see Google right here, the shared size and these data are shared between these apps. 
On the second beta of iOS 17, you will also find a new live activity from the fitness app. Right here, as you can see, this is an example how it looks and it only actually works with the cycling workout. So only when you're cycling, you will actually see this new live activity right on the lock screen. And from here, you can pause and start right here. And of course, it shows you the seconds and minutes and it's a little icon right there for the workout that you're doing. On the spotlight, if you search for alarms or the clock app, you will see the icon from where you can actually open the app, but you will also see other icons here. Now, earlier today, it showed another one to set an alarm. Right now, it's only showing this one to set a timer. Of course, it's still buggy, but if you tap right there, you can quickly go ahead and set a timer right from here, which is actually very useful. Now, the same goes for the books app as well. So basically, it shows you different like different actions that you can quickly do from the spotlight search so if i search for books you can see we have play current again sometimes it will show you more actions maybe two or three sometimes it shows just one again this is still new and still buggy hopefully it will work as it should in the future and it will be a very nice feature to have there is also a new ui on the phone app so when you open the phone app you're on a call and you need the keypad when you show the keypad you will see here a new layout that has been updated with beta 2. another one which is really interesting for the new contact cards you will see an option once you have like a user a contact that has the card and the poster and all that you will be able to actually choose to have the latest photo of that contact always updated as the picture of that contact now i don't have a way to demonstrate it right here but it works from here you will be able to choose a custom photo or always update the latest photo that you have now another thing that apple has done with ios 17 beta is these tips that they have added into apps I ran across a lot of these on different apps, basically showing you like tips, just unveiling hidden features of iOS. Like this one right here on Safari, it says save time searching. So enter your search when you're usually type your web address. So at the address bar, you can just search for basically Google anything you want. That's really cool. And again, this is all uh, everywhere on the notes app. I've seen it on the messages app and everywhere on iOS, you will see these like tips that just unveil some really cool hidden features and one thing that apple has done with ios 17 beta 2 i talked about this on the previous video but it's really really interesting i have used this so basically the new haptic touch and this way is much much better i'm telling you if you're using this feature make sure you go ahead and go to touch here and then go to haptic touch and just switch to fast it makes it that much better so basically 3d touching is just back with this one it feels like you're still doing that 3d touch that force touch that we had previously on ios and all the devices it really works much much better than having it in normal or of course slower another smaller change that you will find on the second beta when you go to safari you will have here right at the bottom advanced when you go here you will see something called feature flags now these are basically the testing features the beta features that apple does they have been now renamed to feature flags there is also a new splash screen once you open the podcast app for the first time on the second beta and it shows you right here of course what's new with the podcast app so you will have improved playback controls new design there for the up next and also connect your subscription subscriptions you will have these three new features and of course an explanation here of what they do now another thing that apple has done with ios 17 beta 2 which is not a feature it's more of a fix is that they have actually fixed the keyboard now it's working properly on many apps it didn't show up on the beta 1 now it has been fixed and it works really nice now these are the new features now let's move to some bugs i just talked about the keyboard being fixed on apps but the only thing that is not currently working as it should is the spotlight search many times when i go to the spotlight search it will actually bug it will just drop down or maybe not even show at all that's a bug that is still consistent on ios 17 beta 2 and it's actually quite quite annoying it takes a lot of time to get it to work maybe you have to reboot your device completely to get that to work now another thing another bug that i'm encountering on the second beta especially is the Wi-Fi disconnect my device has been disconnecting all the time from my Wi-Fi and this is a connection that's actually quite good in my home here it's very close to the router still it just disconnects without any reason 
And earlier we talked about this new here, this new view when you go to update your device and you don't actually have en enough storage. But this is also a bug that a lot of users have been encountering when updating to beta 2. Their iOS device saying that there is no, no storage and they need more storage even though there was a lot of storage free on the device. A lot of users have been reporting this feed, this actually bug and hopefully they will have a fix with the third beta because this is quite annoying. And now let's move on and talk about battery life. Well, with iOS 17 beta 2, the battery life is not a lot different from beta 1, but it's really interesting what basically how iOS beta 2, iOS 17 beta 2 is working here. Some days I'm getting quite good battery life. Like right here, you can see it's right at 75% battery and it's at 8 hours and 44 minutes on screen and this battery is actually at 92 percent so that's not that bad of course when taking into consideration that this is a beta but again with 75 percent battery 8 hours 44 minutes on screen is actually not that bad but if we go like right here you can see here we have about 120 percent battery and it's only seven hours which is actually not good at all and here we have exactly 50 percent battery right here and it's at four hours and 51 minutes so you can expect a similar like similar performance of battery just like on ios 17 beta 1 which is again not that good at all this is why it's not actually recommended for you to install this beta on your daily device and when talking about performance actually performance is quite good i didn't expect this update to perform this goes this early so you can see with the score right here the multi-core score on beta 2 is at 6875 and it's an increase from beta 1 for 200 points and this is an increase also from ios 16.5 which is actually way lower than this and also we have the single core score at 2642 which is not bad it's pretty much this, the same one as beta 1. So what's next? Of course, beta 3. This upcoming week, there will be no updates. We're still on the two week schedule. So we can expect to see a third beta of iOS 17, most likely somewhere here. So it's Independence Day, there will be no update. So maybe on the 5th or the 6th, these are the two dates that I would expect Apple to release a third beta of iOS 17. And of course, if you already have iOS 17 beta on your device, you should update because it probably will have a ton of fixes, a ton of new features, and hopefully the battery life will get a bit better as well. So that's basically for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Of course, subscribe for more videos. I'll see you on the next one.